When it comes to Roblox doors, there is so much information out there about the game to the point where we think we know everything. But time and time again, there's always something new or secret that shows up as the game progresses. These are 10 things that I bet you never knew about Roblox doors. Comment some cool stuff about the game you know down below and let's go check it out. Number 1, the first entity. Whenever it comes to the monsters in Roblox doors, there's always one question that comes to mind. Who was the first entity ever created for the game? While the majority of players think that Figure was the first one created for the game with the big presence that he has at door 50 and the finale, but you're forgetting another major character within the game, and of course, that's going to be Seek. Apparently, according to the Doors wiki, Seek was the first character made specifically for Doors drug development, as they've even released old photos during his creation dating all the way back to 2020. Never knew he would be the first one, but I guess it's better than having Screech be first. Number 2, Secret Void. Of course, when it comes to playing the game, there's always some neat secrets beyond the walls of the game. But this one is a very surprising find. Apparently within the reception room of the hotel, or otherwise known as room zero, there is an inaccessible void area right behind the room towards the side. This area contains a white neon block and several see-through walls that can be found. But the most interesting thing about this area is that this sound plays if an exploiter gets near this place. Wow. That sounds very creepy. This is actually a heavily slowed down and reverbed version of this song called The Angels Fountains 2. Take a quick listen. Yeah, this song was not composed by Lightning Splash or the developers of Doors. It was uploaded by APM Music via Roblox, so it's definitely an interesting find and unless if you use hacks or do research, you would never have known about it. Number 3 Broken Courtyards? Many players already know that the courtyard within Roblox doors is supposed to be a nice and peaceful part within the game in order to catch a breath and even possibly look around. Other than the statue, there's nothing really crazy going on here, but you'd be wrong. This rarely happens, but the courtyard can actually quote unquote break especially if an ambush or rush goes through the place which causes this super weird and darkened version of the room. It's like Rush literally destroyed the moon simply by rushing right past it. Another interesting phenomenon that can happen is Seek's eyes spawning outside in the courtyard, but though pretty rare, you probably already knew about that. But the broken courtyard is definitely something the majority of players have not known and even seen before, which is pretty crazy. Number 4, Screech Code? Yet, yeah, just when we thought we have went over all the new and current working codes, another one decides to pop up, and this one was a pretty funny one to say the least. Everybody knows how annoying Screech can be as an entity, especially when they decide to kill you within the dark rooms. But within one of the developer's files on Roblox, more specifically, the decal used for Halt's eyes and the guiding light, way below the description, it says to use the code Screech sucks. Like, okay? Let's see what happens if we actually do that. Bro, 50 knobs from that? <laughs> I guess people should hate on Screech more often for even more knobs and codes, huh? Oh, and by the way, these are all the currently working and expired codes, so have fun with that. Number 5, Old Sally. Again, many players have noticed this random, strange looking smile that always appear within the lobby of a game, but also sometimes during thunderstorms within the rooms as well. But some may also question where this entity ended up originating from. Going even closer to the design of Windows shows an interesting look as it's not even a decal, but it's in 3D. But bro, there's gotta be even more to it than that. Right? Well, another horror based game called The Back Rooms does feature an entity simply called The Smiler. 
and a side-by-side -side comparison does show that both of them look very similar with that same smile, shape, and eyes. Even the Doors Wiki states that Windows may be a reference to the Smiler, but we ended up reaching out to Redables, the co-developer of Roblox Doors, and they did state that it's just simply a coincidence. But hey, at least now you know that these two entities were not actually related to each other. Number 6, Deleted Badges. Only the true OG players will know about these, but a huge part of the game does include badges, which entices players to replay the game more and more to achieve them. We've already talked about how the developers wanted to add in a thousand of the many achievement, where you'd have to die 1000 times to get it, but the glitch achievement also had their own interesting touches. This was a we covered image of the old glitch error badge as it used to just be a Roblox content deleted icon with some glitch particles over it. The description of the achievement was different also, stating note to self, stick with the team. They ended up changing this as glitch now acts more like a fail safe system to help reduce confusion. Number 7, Rick Rolled. Don't worry, I'm not going to recurl you on the video, but when it comes to the puzzle room paintings, there is one painting that is the most interesting from the bunch, and it's the square painting. Yeah, let's just do a side-by-side -side comparison, and I'm sure you guys can piece the puzzle together. You would have never thought that, especially since nobody really takes their time in this room. Number 8, Light Life. When's the last time you used a flashlight inside Roblox doors? Or, better question, when's the last time you've ever used it from a full charge until it's dead? Flashlights do last super long compared to lighters, but you'd be surprised that it takes exactly 1 minute and 30 seconds before it completely dies. That's not bad for some high energy batteries right there. Number 9, Ambush Attack. Every entity has a sound that they make whenever they attack players in Roblox doors, but Ambush, as most know, has multiple attack sounds. But just how many does he have is the major question. Well, it appears that the entity has an infinite amount of attack tones as it randomly generates the pitch of its tone each and every time. Number 10, Donator Trolling. Now it comes to no surprise that this big donation board within the lobby showcases the most generous players in terms of knobs, boosts, and revives, but did you know that you could actually click on their names on PC and change their names to whatever you want? The billboard works by text box system, so the players are able to do some trolling if they really wanted to. If only I knew about this earlier, because this is actually quite entertaining. 